Hey everybody, I thought I'd make a quick video to help you through this assignment. This is the assignment called Government Responses. And uh, as you can see here, I'm asking you to take a look at one thing that a local government has done to deal with the coronavirus problem and one thing that a state government has done to deal with the coronavirus problem, one thing the federal government has done to deal with the coronavirus problem, and one thing that individuals or civil society, just people in general, have done to deal with the coronavirus problem. And those four things are gonna go in these four boxes. You're gonna find those by following these links below or doing a quick Google search, and I'll show you how that works in a second. And once you've actually identified what it is that they have done, what decision they've made, what policy they've created, what they've decided to do, then you're going to use your own interpretation and try to think, okay, what would be the benefits of that? What would be the benefits of that decision that the local government did? And then what might be some drawbacks? What might be some problems? This is kind of up to you to think about, although the articles that you find, the information you find might have some ideas in there. And then once you've done that and completed that chart, I want you to just choose one of those things, one of those decisions, one of those four decisions that you think it was something that is a good decision, that you think is gonna work, that's gonna help. And then one thing that you don't think was a very good decision, something that you think is not gonna work, that's not gonna help, and explain why you chose each one. So that's the assignment I'm asking you to complete as you start thinking about the role of government at various levels, that's the whole concept of federalism, uh, and how they deal with a particular problem. Now, I provided you links down here. You're welcome to work with those to get some good ideas, or if you wanna do some searching on your own, you can. Um, that's what I did, and I just wanna show you what I came up with when I search for um, information. So if I go down here and I use a search request like this, federal government response coronavirus, and I simply place that in my browser and search, I'm gonna get a lot of different results. And what I'd suggest you do is you go from the all tab to the news tab. That's gonna give you a much better chance that what you're looking at is something that's happened and happened pretty recently. And it usually comes from some sort of a news source that talks about what's going on. Now this shows you here, this was three days ago, one day ago, two days ago, 20 hours ago. Um, so all pretty current. And what I'm looking for is just something that the federal government has done to try to deal with this problem. This is a health advisor uh, hoping to brief uh, Biden. This is Scott Atlas, um, who's an outgoing person from the current administration. Urgent actions needed in US government. So that's, that's needed. I'm still looking for something that they actually have done. Well, here's something. The SBA releases detailed information on more small business borrowers under pandemic relief effort. Whew, that's a mouthful. Let me take a look at it and see what it says. SBA is a small business administration. Um, and this talks about how the federal government has... Well, you told me a little earlier that uh, Hope Springs Eternal that they can... Oh, excuse me. Uh, the Small Business Administration, which is part of the federal government, um, has issued uh, money, uh, money loans through a Paycheck Protection Program, all that sort of stuff. Um, and so I might look at this and say, okay, it looks like the federal government, um, they re released loan information for millions of borrowers under this program to deal with uh, the coronavirus and its economic impact, especially for small businesses. Um, and so this is simply, uh, I, I guess I could talk about the Paycheck Protection Program that happened earlier. This is actually the government releasing that information. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there because that's what I'm reading about right now. So I'm gonna go in here in the federal government and I'm gonna put the Small Business Administration Okay, so there's what I learned from looking at that article, and I wanna make sure I can get back to it later. So I'm gonna copy the URL 
for it and paste that in here somewhere. Now I can paste it just like that and it's a big ugly mess or I can highlight some text. This makes it look a little nicer and click on this icon to insert the link. And at that point, that highlighted text will take me to that source. So I'm gonna do that instead. It's gonna make it a little smaller. So um, there's my federal government reaction. If I wanted to uh, find something similar for state, I might just change one word. State, government, response, coronavirus. Ooh, not images, I want news. There we go. Um, this one's from, um, doesn't say which state. I'm looking for a particular state. Denver, so that's Colorado. Um, Sweden, that's not what I want. I want the United States. Um, uh, states race to offer virus aid. Now this is gonna talk about a lot of different states, so maybe I wanna look at this one. Um, here's the governor of Colorado. Um, I bet you we see our governor Inslee. Here's Minnesota. Um, this is um, New Mexico. So this is talking about a lot of states and how they decided that the federal government's not doing enough. They're criticizing the federal government. They're deciding to do something else. So here's my state news and I can just jot down one thing they decide to do and then again provide the link. Now once I've got all four of these I want to go back to them and think okay so what are some of the benefits? Well the benefits probably this money was probably beneficial um, but now they're releasing the information. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, maybe some people Okay, so that, that might be, be a bad thing. Maybe I got some of that money, but I really want everyone to know about that. So maybe that would, would affect me that way, and I don't like that. Um, what are some of the benefits? Well, maybe uh, uh, some accountability. Now you can do the same uh, search or you can use the links I gave you. All we're looking for is something they did and something, you know, what you think of it. Was it what's good about it, what's bad about it. The civil society individual is probably going to rely on something that maybe you've heard about. Um, one of the big things that can come out of this, especially from an individual point of view, is, is people's approaches to wearing masks. Um, and so you might want to look at say what if people decided to do dealing with masks or maybe dealing with people who work in the healthcare profession. Um, it, it's an opportunity for you to sort of look for what you want to find out. It says here if you want to get some ideas about um, use any search engine, social media, news source or anything to come up with one or more examples of what average, normal, everyday people are doing to deal with the problem. So to go back to my search um, in my search uh, questions I might just put dealing with the coronavirus and then go to news um, um, we might take a look here at um, Sometimes the search you want to ask is just what you're looking for. Um, inside a hospital, so there's a lot of stuff going to be about hospital and care workers. Um, you can talk about uh, uh, restrictions um, being ordered by government. Well, there's a government. Los Angeles, that's the city government, so that's municipal government. And you might want to talk about that if you haven't done that one yet. So do what you can, find what you can, and uh, we'll take a look at what the results are when you have them all in, and we'll talk about how uh, government works at different levels to try to deal with a particular problem.